Introducing the ComTac, Tejas Research and Engineering's tubing anchor designed for traditional steam injection and SAG-D wells. The ComTac compensates for thermal and mechanical tubing movement on wells utilizing rod pumps. Shown here is a well being drilled as a steam injector for four producing wells. Steam is injected as a means of stimulation to increase production in heavy oil wells or tar sands. Steam works well to lower the viscosity to enable higher production rates, but the higher temperatures can cause other problems with pumping and delivery of oil to the surface. This short video offers a solution with a very short return on investment. Workover rigs are used to install the necessary tubing, pump, and rods in the well bore below the well head. The up and down pumping action of the pump jack can cause unwanted lateral tubing movement. Therefore, the tubing is typically anchored to the well bore or casing at the lower end of the tubing or at pump depth. A hydraulic anchor can be set by simply applying pressure in the tubing after it's been landed. Pressure can be built against a standing valve, which forms a part of the rod pump. Actuated by a predetermined pressure, a hydraulic piston provides the force necessary to set the slips in the casing. At the same time, the tubing can be tested for pressure integrity. Upward pull on the tubing will confirm a proper set of the anchor slips. Now the pump and sucker rods can be installed and spaced out as required. Production will commence as the pump reciprocates up and down. Displacement is enabled at every stroke by ball check valves at the intake and discharge, one located in the standing valve and one located in the pump itself. Most wells with rod pumps are completed and produced in this manner. Movement associated with thermal changes between static and dynamic conditions are absorbed within the well design. However, in wells where large thermal changes occur, such as steam flood wells, tubing expansion or lengthening due to heat will result in tubing buckling or corkscrewing, which leads to premature sucker rod or tubing failure and more frequent workover. Typically, in these high temperature wells, the tubing end is not anchored and thus the tubing is free floating with every stroke of the pump, which significantly reduces the efficiency of each pump stroke and the reliability of the downhole system. That is why Tejas developed a tubing anchor that compensates for large fluctuations in thermal conditions. The compensation part of the tubing anchor is basically an expansion joint, allowing it to move axially but limiting lateral movement and prevents tubing buckling. At the same time, the hydraulic shock absorber resists tubing movement and dampens axial movement as the pump reciprocates up and down. Stabilizing the downhole pumping system dramatically increases pump efficiency by at least 5%. This animation clearly shows the excessive axial or up and down movement. So there you have it. The ComTac is a simple, inexpensive, and very rugged tool that solves three problems at the same time. It's a tubing anchor that centralizes the tubing. It's an expansion joint that accommodates tubing growth due to temperature. And it's a shock absorber that resists pump reciprocation movement. As you can see, the Tejas ComTac on the left screen wins.